nicer. Good day YouTube, Joby from Oz again. Just a quick update, I know I've had a lot of people asking me where this gear cutting attachment for the Shaper is. Well, it is in progress. I'm going to show you some photos of the base and the block that have been put together. And we're just now looking at our final dimensions for the main shaft. The gears that we want to cut have a deeper boss than the plan would otherwise allow for at one a half inch. So we're going to increase this slightly to match the gears for the CVA. We've got dimensions for a collar that sits in to size up the half inch to the bore of the gear. We've got a locking piece that sits on the end of the shaft to secure the shaft inside the block. We've got the end cap here which is bolted onto our index wheel. Then we have the index tooth arrangement which locks into the index wheel and based on the 154 tooth gear that we're trying to do we're looking at probably trying to make the index wheel about three inches in diameter gives us a one and a half mil wide index for the pin on this to lock into so the the tooth on the indexing pin it's driven by the pitch circle diameter disc uh, yeah. so we figure if we have one and a half mils on a three inch disc and we were to say put a slot of the 0.8 mils which gives us what's that 0.7 mil as an actual tooth in between and I'll look probably to laser cut these out of acrylic possibly or MDF or plywood depending on but that's coming together so I think our plan of attack here will be to make the bushing for the gear, make the locking collar, turn down this end of the shaft, then come around and finish off the shaft. Do our two fixing holes for our index gear that sits over that. Once we've got an index gear that we know is the tooth that we're after, then we can lock in this piece here and be happy with that. And then some pitch circle discs and we should be right to make some chips. Thanks for watching.